Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to explore some of the uh, features of J River Media Center um, specifically the creating and customizing of views. J River uses a database to store um, the metadata from the imported media files and the metadata from this database can be represented in various different views and can be customized to your own desires. Uh, J River comes with a few built-in views which I'll show you here. Um, these are the default views so we've got one based on albums, one based on artists and you notice the album one just shows the album art the artist one shows the album art but grouped by artist so there's multiple albums stacked on top of each other here and it shows you the tracks below. So I'm going to create um, some new views so I want to add a I can add a library view, I can just pick one as standard. I'm going to use the panes one and I'm going to call it sample rate review. By review I mean it shows the various sample rates of the various media files um, in the database and then you can you get an appreciation of which ones you've got um, all in one pane. Um, this is an audio uh, view. So I'll click OK. I want to customize this view. I will remove the, um, the categories that are in here already and I will start adding my own. So I want to add a category and I want to start with the file name file name path and I want to add sample rate which is key I want to add the bit depth I want to add album and I want to add album artist. So these are the boxes that are going to appear in the pane window um, and it will list all the file name paths, the different sample rates of the media files in the database, um, the bit depth of the different bit depths available, the different album names and the different album artists names. So you can get an overview very quickly of what you have in your J River Media Center database. Um, so these are the categories. Now I want one of the things I do is set the rules for file display. One of the rules I commonly use is I will for example select the genre and I will say is not so this means that any of the fields I put here will not be displayed um, for example I want I usually want to exclude things like audiobooks or um, something flagged as radio or internet radio now I don't have any of those um, built into, um, I don't have any of those imported into my current J River database, but they would be listed here, and then you can select one. But I'm actually because I haven't got any audiobooks or radio stations, I won't actually leave that blank. Um, but it's where you can restrict. Um, or include or make, make uh, you can restrict or make inclusive the um, content of the panes. Um, at the moment, I will leave it as the default. 
and I don't need to modify any, any of the results. So if I click OK, there's the standard ones built in and we now have a sample rate review and what we see here are the paths, the sample rate, now everything is 44.1, everything is 16 bit bit depth but we see the names of the albums, I've got eight albums imported and we see the names of the artists, there are four different artists and eight albums. Um, if I wanted to go back, customize the view, I could change the set rules for file display, and if I go back to genre, is not any, and if I, if I pick say acoustic, refresh we'll see we now only have seven albums because one of them was um, tagged with a genre of acoustic so we can start to filter and tailor the results within the pane um, by changing the customization let's remove that click OK hit refresh we're now back up to eight albums so that's sample rate review. Let's create another one. Here's one that I use occasionally. Um, see if I can get this right. I want to add a library view. Let's try empty view. Let's call it multiple disk albums. So here's my new view. I want to view it as a file list and in the set rules for file display I want I'll do an example here where we can set the media type is audio so that will select all my audio files Um, I could, if I wanted to, do the genre is not and do some exclusions there. But the key thing in this one is I want the album title contains, oops, that does not contain, album contains the word disc. see here is actually there's nothing to display because none of my album titles contain the word disc we can um, customize it nope set rules for file display and we can turn it into how about records as an example because I know one of my albums is called records and therefore the same view now lists has some content because the album here contains the word records. This is handy to go through your collection if you want to edit or find things with a specific name or if you've got a multi-disc album with disc one, disc two. I tend to merge them all together. Um, but this is how you how you could do that. So I'll put that back to disc. And this now is empty once again. A let's create another one. Let's start with an empty view again. Um, that was an empty view. I want 
to look at the genres. So I'll call this genre review. I want a pain. I want to list primarily the genre. I also want to list album artist auto. Let's list our album artist and let's list the album. Set rules for file display. Media type is audio. I just want this to apply to my audio files, and I will leave this on. Uh, I will leave that as it is. So what we have now is a panes display that lists the genre of the um, files within the database just have four genres at the moment it lists the album artist and the name of the album and if you highlight a particular genre it shows which of those albums match um, another convenient one is Album art review. Here I want to add the file name. As you can see, there's many, many, many tens of um, fields you can display. File name path. Okay. Uh, let's add image height let's add image width let's add album artist and let's add album selected. Uh, set rules for file display. No, I don't want album. I want media is audio. So what this view does is lists the image height in pixels and the image width in pixels so you can see this one at 350 is my lowest resolution album art so if you want to ever go through and update album art if you've got some low resolution um, album covers or you think you've got some this will display all the different sizes that you have and allow you to highlight them and then you can well, you find them and then if you find them you can then update the um, album art. This is just a mechanism by which you can display them. So that's a selection of views created using um, we've got a file list and we have a we've also used the panes view for a, where's a better one for the, like the sample rate review or the album art review. So this is my media server. So if I switch machines and go to my blue machine, which is my client, there's a little gotcha. This machine's starting J River. Oh, <laughs> the gotcha. I was going to um, tell you about was the fact that I didn't expect these 
actually these um, uh, views I'd created to appear on my remote um, client. Maybe the fix that. If you go to, I'm back on my server now. If you go to tools, uh, options, media network, and then go to ad advanced. You have this customized views for J Remote Gizmo or Web Gizmo. And what you see here is if you do use one of those remote tools, um, J Remote or Gizmo, the items that the um, that uh, client will see is this list here and if you notice this list here does not contain album art review, genre review, multiple disc albums or sample rate reviews so you have to add them um, and you add them library item from standard view this is the standard view and I want to add for example Album art review, and I want to a genre review. Oh, that's appearing underneath. I'll sort that in a minute. Uh, multiple disc albums, and I want to add sample rent review. This genre review has come underneath album art review, so I want to move that up. I'll move it up. Unnest. There we go. Um, Unnest makes them all appear at the same level. And these the these are the ones I've created myself. Let's move them down the list a bit. Come on. click OK and click OK. Top tip is that when you've made those changes they don't take effect until you restart. And also I'll go to this one. I'll exit on my client machine and restart just for good measure. There we go. So, in this video, we've covered to a degree creating new library views and editing or customizing them. We've covered um, how they appear on the on a media center client, and also the steps you have to go through if you want to make those views visible on JRemote, Gizmo or Web Gizmo. I hope you found the video useful and thank you for watching.